Seeing a vintage Porsche prototype race car in the wild is a rare event. And seeing two of them together is even more rare. Especially when those cars have license plates. I was recently at a PCA concourse event where the attendants were lucky enough to see these two priceless cars side by side and up close. The first of these two prototypes that we'll look at is the Porsche 906 Carrera 6. The 906 was produced in 1966, and only 50 examples were made, as that was the minimum homologation production requirement to compete in the FIA Group 4 racing category that year. This was the first car Porsche ever used a wind tunnel to design, and even though it's a full-blown race car with a powerful six-cylinder engine, it weighs a scant 1,280 pounds and every 906 came street legal directly from the factory. This particular example is in mostly original condition and is covered in battle scars that were collected during its racing history. The other car we have here is the incredible Porsche 908K Short Tail. The 908 began production in 1968 and first appeared in the Short Tail Coupe version. Production would continue until 1973 and numerous versions of the car would be produced to handle the varying challenges presented by different racetracks. Only 31 908s were made, but the design was so successful that the car continued racing into the 1980s. In fact, it was such a well-performing and dependable car that many Porsche factory drivers chose to continue driving the 908 even after the newer 917 had been introduced. The example we have here has been heavily restored to near mint condition and the owner converted the car to meet public street driving requirements during the coronavirus lockdown. Looking at this car, you can see quite clearly that it served as the blueprint for the 917, and some of its design elements even carried over to the 956 and 962 prototypes.
Thanks for checking out this video, and for more automotive content that you cannot find anywhere else, click here to subscribe.